Bridging to Phantom If you want to bridge your crypto assets from other blockchains onto Phantom, you'll find two links for two different bridges on the Beethoven X website. Click on these three dots on the top bar and you'll find the multi-chain bridge and all bridge. I'm going to be showing you how to use the multi-chain bridge today. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the link and it will take me to a multi-chain, which is a great bridge for moving your funds between different EVM compatible blockchains. You'll see by default, it's set to USDC on Phantom, bridging to USDC on BNB chain. I'm going to change this obviously because I want to bridge funds to Phantom and I'm going to be bridging them from Ethereum. If I want to do that, I have to actually go and open up my MetaMask and change the network to Ethereum because on multi-chain, the chain that it's going to be sending from is whichever one you are set to on your MetaMask. You can see my network is now Ethereum. And if I close MetaMask at the top of multi-chain, it now says Ethereum instead of Phantom like it did before. And it still says USDC, but I'm gonna change it because in this tutorial, I'm not going to be sending USDC. I wanna send FTM. The easiest way to find it is just to type it into the search bar and it comes up, you see I have 33 FTM. I don't want to send that FTM to BNB chain, so I gotta obviously change it as well. You get a pop-up with all the different EVM chains you can send to using multi-chain. So it's not only for Phantom, it's for a huge list of different chains. I selected Phantom because that's where I wanna send it. You'll see that even before starting this tutorial, I already had 20 FTM on the Phantom blockchain and I already had 33 FTM on the Ethereum blockchain. Of all the different things you can bridge using multi-chain, the reason I'm gonna be showing FTM being bridged in this tutorial is because FTM is the gas token of the Phantom network, meaning you can't do anything on Phantom until you have some FTM to use as gas on there. If you're curious to know where I got the FTM on the Ethereum network, it was on Uniswap. Anyways, let's get down to the actual bridging. You probably saw I entered my maximum balance in the top and on the bottom, it ends up being slightly less. If you're wondering why it's not the exact same amount, it's because if you refer to the bottom section where it says reminder, you'll see that there's some bridging fees that you need to pay. You'll see the first point, the minimum fee is 1.7 FTM and that's what I'm gonna be paying because I am sending a tiny amount. When you're ready, click on approve FTM because you have to approve the token that you're gonna be sending in most cases. Click on the approve button again and the MetaMask prompt will pop up. Click on confirm. That transaction has now been sent to the blockchain. Now you have to click on swap because this cross-chain bridge, what you're doing is considered a swap. And this information box will pop up You'll get some also information if you want to read again on the cross-chain fees. When you are totally ready, just click on confirm. If you want to know roughly how long this is going to take, you can look under where it says cross-chain fee. It says estimated time of arrival. It says between three and 30 minutes. Now you click on confirm. And now all you have to do is wait for the funds to be bridged. I put the video on 20x speed so you wouldn't have to sit through watching the transaction confirm, but overall it took about five minutes. All right, well, that's done. And we've now successfully bridged our FDM from the Ethereum network to Phantom. You can see my balance is now 51.32, proof that the funds were bridged over. And I'll show you on my MetaMask as well. So I'm opening my MetaMask and I'm on the Ethereum network because I was sending from Ethereum. So I'm gonna switch it now to Phantom and you'll see my balance is now 51.32. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, come into the Beethoven X Discord and the team will be happy to help. Thanks for watching.